Hey guys, so this week we're going to be taking a look at the Gravel Explorer Slim Toiletry Bag. And if you've been watching the channel for a while, you know that I absolutely love dot kits. I haven't seen one that I didn't want to try out. And so we've had some really great ones on the channel in the past, such as the Dash Dop Kit by Bond Travel Gear and the Air Dop Kit, which is of course one of my absolute favorites. And I'll make sure to include links to the in-depth reviews we've done for those in the description below. And so I'd seen a lot of the Kickstarter videos that had been done for this toiletry bag and I'd seen it featured in a lot of the bag and gear blogs that I typically follow and I was really excited at a lot of the different features that it seemed to offer as well as the fact that it seemed to be built with really durable materials that made it really good for outdoor use. And I was just really curious to kind of get my hands on it and compare it to all the other dop kits that we've looked at on the channel. So I went ahead and ordered one. I've been testing this out for the past couple of weeks. And overall, I've been enjoying using it. There are a few caveats that I'll talk a little bit about during the video, but for the most part, I really love the design. The internal organization has been great, and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. So let's just go ahead and dive in and take a closer look at the Gravel Explorer Slim Toiletry Bag. So starting out with the overall aesthetic of the bag, I really like the look and feel of the Gravel Toiletry Bag. It's got a very simple and minimalistic style but it feels really solid. It's made out of this really durable feeling, tarpaulin-like material, nice weather resistant zippers all around. So it almost feels like this is something that's meant to be outside of a bag with how much weather resistance has been included here. I definitely feel like both in and out of the bag, nothing is gonna leak, or if I have delicate items on the inside, that they're gonna be really well protected. As you can see with all the zippers, they have really nice weather sealing. And in general, the bag just feels like it's gonna hold up really well, even in rougher conditions. So if you're into camping or anything like that, this might be a great bag to take along with you if you know you're gonna be exposing it to the elements of the outdoors. As far as the size, there are actually two versions of the gravel toiletry bag offered. The one that I have here is the slim version. There is a larger version, which I will likely not be reviewing. I typically don't like dop kits that are very big. This is about as large as I like to go, just because I feel like they end up taking too much space in a bag, especially if they get bulky. I don't like things that are, that are super large, which is one of the things that I was a little bit concerned about when I saw something like the Peak Design Toiletry Bag that they released recently. It's really nice, it has a cool design, but it's just so bulky that I feel like it takes up an unnecessary amount of space in my bag, whereas the toiletry bag is typically something where I'm trying to downsize more and trying to find things that are a little bit more slim. So I still think this is a very manageable size. It's still pretty thin. This is, as I mentioned, the slim version of this bag. And I think this packs down flat enough that it's easy to include in one of the travel backpacks that I typically like to use. We've looked at a lot of different dop kits here on the channel. And so a few of the ones that I've really enjoyed using are bags like the in-case accessory pouch that I have here. I've been using this the most recently just because it's a little bit on the smaller side. So as I mentioned, I'm trying to downsize and save space in this area of my packing. And I feel like the in-case pouch really helps me do that. It's very simple. It just has one kind of big pouch and a smaller zipper pouch on the outside. We've taken closer looks at this in other videos if you want to check those out. But this holds at least the basics of what I need to travel with. And so as you can see, it's a little bit smaller than the gravel toiletry kit. It's shorter and they're about the same width when they're filled up. And so the in-case bag is obviously not going to have as much organization as we'll see in the gravel toiletry bag. And I feel like the materials on the gravel toiletry bag are a little bit more durable and maybe weather resistant. If you do feel like this is going to be exposed to harsher elements, that will be something to keep in mind. But both bags are really great. And if you're not looking for something quite as minimal as the in-case bag, this is going to be an awesome alternative. Another toiletry bag that we've had looked at a lot on this channel is the Air Dop Kit. I've been a huge fan of this. I've had this for a long time and this has been one of the dot kits that I've used the most throughout my travels. I've always loved the style and a lot of kind of the unique organization that it offers. It has a lot of bands and internal organizations, multiple compartments. It even has a really cool toothbrush holder. So just a very unique toiletry bag that I've used a lot and I've been a big fan. I actually did an in-depth review for this. So if you want to take a look, I'll make sure to link to that in the description below. As you can see, they're pretty similar in size. So as far as the length, and the width even, neither of them gets that thick, which is a big benefit and one of the reasons I've been able to use the Air Dop Kit for a long time. Looking at the designs, you can see that the gravel kit is a little bit more minimal. And I also, similar to what I just mentioned about the in-case bag, I like the materials on the gravel kit a little bit more as far as offering weather resistance and even feeling like it'll handle spills and explosions a little bit better. As much as I love this, and this has held up very well. It also has good weather resistance on the zippers, but just this heathered material here doesn't feel quite as water resistant as the tarpaulin. And I would be very concerned if something spilled or exploded inside of this, that it would be harder to clean or that it would get a little bit more stained. Whereas on the gravel dop, it definitely feels like it's meant to handle that sort of situation. 
So both really great bags. If I was looking for something a little bit more stylish or that matches a lot of the air bags that I have, I'm still very partial to the air dop kit. And it's still a bag that I use often. I really love the organization offered here, especially when I'm traveling with larger bags and I have a little bit more space. This is typically my go-to dop kit. But with that being said, I have been excited to test out the gravel toiletry bag. They did a really big Kickstarter campaign. I've seen them featured a lot in the everyday carry and bag blogs that I typically follow. So they've gotten a lot of really good press and with the right reason. I mean, this is a really well built item and it has a lot of great organization and kind of hidden features. So diving into some of those on the back of the bag, you can see that there's two zippered compartments. One of them is a longer horizontal compartment. And one thing that's interesting here is that it has a soft felt lining on the inside. So on the company's website, they recommend using this for something like a passport, but I actually love the idea of using this for something like a watch. So here is my Timex Fairfield that I've been using a lot recently, and that fits in there very easily. As you can see, there's probably enough room for two watches if you really wanted to, but I love the idea of being able to store a spare watch in here because of the felt lining to prevent scratching on the face. So that's a really big benefit of having that compartment here. And on top of that, since the zipper has a good amount of weather resistance, if you do have a watch that doesn't happen to be waterproof and you wanna keep it a little bit more protected, it's gonna do really well in that compartment. And so just a nice amount of space here. A passport would definitely fit here. Something like your wallet, if you're using this as just something that you hold with you during a flight, there'll be some good space there. But for me, I'll definitely continue to use it for watches and kind of more delicate items that I don't want scratching up. And then the other zipper here on the front also has a good amount of weather resistance. And this is meant to house the strap and hook that allow you to hang this toiletry bag on a variety of places. So just pulling that out, I really love this system here that allows you to kind of wrap a strap around thicker objects. I thought that the Bond Dash Dop Kit that we looked at a while back did a really good job with this as opposed to just having a large metal hook that's a little bit limiting in what you can hang it on. I like that this actually expands out. As you can see, there's plenty of slack here. So if you really need a lot of space or are trying to get this around something super thick or like a tree branch or something, you're gonna have plenty of leeway to do that. The hook itself has a really nice durable feeling metal and it goes through the loop here very easily. So allowing you to hang it up quickly I really love this system. It's just very simple, but effective. And as I mentioned, it can definitely work on a variety of widths if you wanna hang this on different things. And the best thing is, is if, if you have a carabiner or something like that and you need to hang it to something thinner, you can attach it to here and hang it up that way as well. So just lots of versatility provided by this strap here. I love that you can stow it away so that you don't have dangling straps and you wanna keep a cleaner look to this. And then the compartment for this is pretty shallow, so I wouldn't try to put anything else in here. It's really just meant to house this strap but super great implementation here. It feels like it's gonna be able to hold whatever you have in here very easily. Opening the bag up, I really like the flat laying design that it has, so you can easily see everything that's in the toiletry bag at the same time. When I first got this, I was a little bit intimidated at how the pockets were laid out. I was kind of confused about what should go where. I did see that on Gravel's site, they have a really good picture of what could kind of go in each pocket. So if you're feeling a little bit lost and you get this and you want an idea of how to kind of maximize the space, I definitely recommend taking a look at that picture to kind of get an idea of what should go where. But I just kind of wanted to tackle this blind to see what I could organize on my own. And thankfully I was able to fit most of the things that I typically want to carry with me in my toiletry bag. And so starting off on the top side of the bag, this would be the side that hangs closest to the hook. So just pulling that out again, if you're hanging this up, it's gonna hang flat like this. So this side will be at the top and then this will hang down a little bit lower. And so there's kind of two main areas here. The first one is a longer compartment here that's meant to hold your toothbrush. And this really feels isolated from the rest of the bag. And I mean that in the sense that if you put a wet toothbrush in here, it definitely feels like the rest of the bag isn't gonna get wet. So I thought that was a really cool addition. And as you can see, that's a really long compartment. Currently what I have in here is my folding toothbrush. I typically travel with something smaller like this just to save space in these smaller toiletry bags that I've tried to use. But if you have a full size toothbrush, that should fit in here very well. There's a good amount of extra space. So I don't know if it's gonna be able to hold all electric toothbrushes, but if you're using something more modern like the Quip, that should be able to fit in here pretty comfortably. Another item that I have here is just a little container to hold cologne. For a long time, I had no idea that these existed, but this is great because I can just insert this into the end of one of my cologne bottles and fill it up so that I can carry a small amount with me on my trip and then I don't have to worry about carrying huge bottles or getting in trouble with TSA. So really love having this. It's been very versatile and allowed me to smell a little bit better as I've been traveling. So 
nice amount of space here as you can see you could almost fit toothbrushes in here and i really love the internal kind of rubberized material it really feels like it's going to be easy to clean and it's not going to be a problem if it gets really wet so awesome job here i have probably haven't made the most of the space just because of the smaller toothbrush that i used but i do love that it can accommodate a wide variety of sizes Next up is a larger mesh compartment next to the toothbrush holder, which you can see is meant to hold some larger items. So currently what I have in here is my full size deodorant. And so just opening that up has a fairly wide opening here, which is nice. And I have my deodorant in there and it fits very comfortably. And then I've also thrown in my razor just because the deodorant took up most of the space. It didn't really have a lot of leftover area to put anything else. There's not any extra volume behind this compartment. So what you see here is the majority of the space that you'll have to pack. So if you use, if you carry a full size deodorant like I do, it's gonna take up most of the compartment. So I know they sell kind of the half sizes that might work a little bit better there and allow you to store a little bit more in this compartment. And then on the back side of this compartment, there's a small, I guess, zippered compartment here where you could store something like a ring or some jewelry which I thought was really neat. I don't have anything here now. It is a little bit harder to get to, so whatever you store in here, you'll definitely wanna make sure it's not something you need to get to quickly, because you have to empty out the rest of the compartment, but it is nice to have it be a little bit more secret. If you have your deodorant in here and you're leaving this in your hotel, it'll be hard to tell that there's something kind of more delicate behind the deodorant. So just a nice little touch there. I really like that it doesn't take up any extra space if you don't wanna use it. And I really love the use of mesh here to allow you to easily see what's in the compartment. So before moving on to the next area of this main compartment, I did want to mention that I was a little bit disappointed with how much I was able to hold in this area in general. Even though it has multiple compartments, I still expected to be able to hold just a little bit more in this main compartment here. So I know that's partly my fault for having a full size deodorant in there. But just something to keep in mind is that the bag is a little bit lower in capacity than you might initially expect when looking on the site. So moving on to the other side of the bag, this area is split into just two compartments, so very simple, but you can easily see what's in this first one. It's made out of the same meshy material as the one on the top, and this one has a little bit more volume as well, so really good if you have other bulkier items that you want to include. I just have kind of some smaller accessories that I typically like to carry with me here, such as my contact lens, and then my tweezers and the nail clippers, so just really simple stuff. As you can see, there's some leftover space there, so I could probably put a variety of travel-sized accessories in here, maybe a floss or something. So just really like that it's a nice, simple compartment that you can toss things into. The back of this also has that same kind of rubbery material that we've seen throughout the bag, so if there's a spill here as well, it should not be an issue. And then the last compartment here seems to be another really well-protected, sealed-off area of the bag, so this is probably meant to hold some more liquids, much like the toothbrush compartment, so that if there is some wetness in the bag, it's not gonna spread to the rest of your stuff, which is really nice. So this also has a weather-sealed zipper here, and it opens up very easily, nice amount of space. Currently what I have in here is my travel size contact solution. And then I just have a small container that I have a pomade with that I use for my hair. And then I also have a small travel size toothpaste. Whoops, and then one last item I had in here that I forgot was just my folding comb that I like to take with me. And so plenty of space in here as you saw, I fit quite a bit. And looking on the inside, it has that same rubber material that we've been discussing several times throughout the video. So just a really simple compartment, no internal organization here. So just a good amount of space to put those larger bottles that might be holding your liquids. You could probably fit one or two of those TSA approved plastic bottles in here. If you wanna fill them up with some shampoo or some soap, it should be able to fit in here fairly comfortably. So nice amount of organization overall on the inside of the bag. Some really creative ideas on the how you can organize everything and a nice amount of flexibility if you like storing things in a certain way. As I mentioned a little bit earlier, I recommend looking on their site to see how they've laid everything out so you can get an idea of where their head was at when they were designing it out. And although I don't believe that this is going to be replacing my current DOP kits, I do think that the company has designed a really durable feeling and creative and well thought out travel accessory here that's going to work well, particularly for people who think they're going to be needing something a little bit more durable that's able to handle some more extreme conditions. So really nice job here. Love the overall design and how slim it is. And I just want to reiterate again that even though it has a good amount of organization and it's well made, it is going to be a little bit more limited in capacity than some of the other DOP kits that we've looked at on the channel. But if you are a more minimal packer in the toiletry department and you want something just a little bit more rugged, this might be a good option for you to check out. So to wrap up, I've really enjoyed using the Gravel Explorer Slim Toiletry Bag. 
It has some really great features inside, some really nice build quality. I really like the unique hanging feature and a lot of the weather resistance that's been added. And the overall form factor is really great for kind of fitting into an already tight bag. And so you can purchase this on Gravel's site for about $49. I was actually able to pick this up on Amazon for the same price, but it seems to be inconsistently available there. So if you wanna make sure you can get it, I would definitely recommend checking out the website. And at that price point, the bag is about the same price as a lot of the other higher quality toiletry bags that we've looked at on the channel. This can be a little bit expensive, especially if you're comparing against a lot of the cheaper options that you can find on Amazon for 10 to $15. However, those aren't always gonna offer the same features and durability that bags such as this or the other DOP kits that we mentioned during the video will have. So for me personally, because I like to have reliable travel accessories and I just like the unique features offered by some of the higher end bags, I think it's a pretty reasonable price. Some of the other bags that we mentioned during the video included the Air DOP kit, which has been one of my favorites that we featured on the channel. I've been using that for a long time. It's held up super well, and that one cost $45 on Air's site. And as I mentioned earlier in the video, we've done a full in-depth review for that, and I've included the link in the description below if you wanna check that out. Another DOP kit that this reminded me of was the Dash DOP kit by Bond Travel Gear. And that's been one of the coolest DOP kits that we've had on the channel, really well made. It also has a similar hanging system where it can wrap around some thicker items. And it also opens up nice and flat so that you can easily see everything that's in the DOP kit at the same time. And it also works really well for use while hanging. So another durable bag, same price range. That one costs $40. You can purchase it on Amazon or on Bond's site. And then of course the pouch that I've actually been using the most recently for my DOP kit is the in-case accessory pouch, which is a little bit simpler. It's not necessarily made to be a DOP kit, but I just really like the size and simplicity that it offers, and it has a good build quality as well. And that one's about $25 to $30. You can purchase that on Amazon or on InCase's site. And then the last item I'll mention, even though it's not necessarily a DOP kit, is the GORUCK wire DOP, which is meant a little bit more for kind of cables and tech organization. That's been one of the coolest items that I've found. I use that so much. I carry that with me every day. And there's a lot of people who have mentioned using that as a toiletry kit and that it works really well for that purpose. So if you're looking for just something a little bit different, maybe a little bit larger that can pack down slightly flatter than the DOP kits that I just mentioned, that might be another good option to check out. But compared to all those, the Gravel Explorer Slim still holds up really well. I think the materials used in this bag are a little bit more water resistant. They're gonna hold up better to spills and explosions if you're carrying containers with you that have shampoo or something like that. So just a really solid offering overall very minimalistic and slick style. And so this item was another one mentioned in the comments of another one of my videos. So really grateful again for any suggestions you guys leave. So if you have other accessories you think would be cool for me to look at, please let me know. I'm always looking at the comments. I really appreciate the ideas for future videos on the channel. And if you guys found this video useful, please go ahead and give us a like. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And thank you guys so much.